this is John with Brockworks, back with another quick SketchUp uh, video. Um, I'm actually trimming out this house uh, that I'm working on right now, the house we're going to start building here soon. And uh, if you know, I follow my videos, I use Profile Builder to get all the different various trim aspects in here, uh, baseboard, casing, head trim, all that's done individually, one by eight, etc. So that in Estimator for SketchUp, uh, we get our quantities as we go. So you can see we're, we're working on all the trim here. So it takes a little bit longer to, uh, instead of just mass modeling it, but you get all the detail. So what I want to talk about today is erasing edges. Um, now I've known about this trick for years, um, but it never occurred to me to use it on trim. Like I was using it on the drywall up here where I wanted this piece of geometry and this ceiling piece of geometry to just kind of blend together and not see an edge because I've got color on here and white on the ceiling. But you can see the edge that I've actually erased back in here. So when you're looking at it, it's more pleasing than seeing all those edges. So for years, I've been doing, uh, as a carpenter in the field, I would miter these corners, a one by eight coming into a skirt board and actually miter cut those on 45s and put those together. And like an idiot, I've been doing that for years in SketchUp until I realized I could do that same trick. So that's how I'm getting it to look like this with this one by eight blending with the skirt board. This is actually a piece of if I hit rest of model, shift H is hide rest of model on my shortcuts. And uh, I highly recommend a shortcut for that because it really helps when you're modeling. So I'll show you how that works. So I've got up in here, I have not put these skirt boards in yet. And again, I don't want to see it like a butt joint because that's not how it's going to look in reality. So I can double click on it. I'm going to hold down E and hold down shift and click and that hides that edge. Now I'm still seeing it because the skirt board here has that too. So if I hide rest the model, you see I'd already hidden an edge down here or deleted a, uh, an edge. So I'm going to hold down shift and click on that edge and see how it disappears. And I'm going to go ahead and do each one same way. If you hold down control or option on a Mac, I think it does, uh, it'll soften the edge, which we don't want to do. We want to just, we want to erase the edge. So it kind of just disappears. So again, hold down shift and click on the line or the edge. Okay, I get out of that edit. Now I want to come in here and I want to take this piece of one by eight and I'm going to move a copy of it up the up the ways and I've got six of them. So I'm going to hit times six and there's all of them. So there you go. So now I've got a nice looking mitered trim. I've still got some ledges and caps and wall caps and some casing and trim here, but it's coming along. I just thought I'd share this quick little tip. Thanks for watching.